Hey everybody, welcome back to the Borderlands 3 Crew Challenges Guide. In this video, I am covering the Meridian Outskirts on Promethea. There's not a whole lot to get here, but the Typhon Dead Drop can be pretty hard to find, so that's the main reason why I wanted to cover this one. I'm gonna run through all these in the order they find them, so let's not waste any time, let's just get to it. No! Oh, Daisy, you could have got mustard all over his brain! So the first one I want to cover is the Dead Clap Trap. This one is in the ranch filled small cave, very close to the drop pod. This is where you first enter the meridian outskirts. You run down here. You gotta deal with some ratches, but they're easy. And he is in one of these weird husk things. There it is. Next thing I wanna talk about is the Crimson Radio. This is the center of the open area right after encountering the hovering COV vehicles. When you're doing these Crimson Radio missions, always keep an eye out for like the radio signals coming off of buildings. See that? A little effect there. That always tells you that there's a radio mission nearby. So just keep an eye out for that and you'll be able to find these pretty easy. Got it. Next challenge is the hijack target. This one is in the same area as the radio tower. Just look for a structure built under the destroyed highway overpass bridge. Hard part about this one is the platforming. Especially this one right here. <laughs> Remember to platform, you need to jump and then press jump again to be able to grab on the ledge. Sometimes you do it automatically, but if you're not going to do it, then press jump again. Now try to platform onto this little bit of rebar that's sticking out. Make things a little easier and you can get up there. It took me a few tries, but I was able to do it. There's a technical, so just drive back and you're all good. Next up is the Typhon Logs. This first one is near the elevator to the largest kind of bandit base under the overpass bridge. To be able to ride the elevator up, you have to have access to the quest Malawana Bees. It, you get this from a random person in the refugee camp that you pass through to get to the Meridian Metroplex zone. So once you're up here, you have to look around. As you can see, it shows it, but it's actually below us. Well, actually, no, it's not below us. It's on the same level as us. So where you want to go is right here. You need to fall down and then turn around. There it is. So that's log number one. Next log is in this small broken structure thing. It's directly across from the catch -a ride in Fort Pissoff. Yeah, it's just right here. Unless you're like looking directly at it, unless you get out on foot and look at it, then you're gonna miss it. The next one is near this big locked door across from the hijack target. The door opens when you get the quest technical nog out. It's where like Quinn is, I think his name is. Yeah, this one, it's just sitting out. It's not hard to find. Now the tricky part here is dealing with the Typhon dead drop. This one, unlike the ones in the previous two areas on Pandora, is actually hidden. Yeah, it's right here. This is kind of near the refugee camp. As you can see, there's the exit to the Meridian Metroplex. So what you need to do is ride the elevator up. But it's still higher, so where is it? Well, the trick is, is you need to activate the elevator and get out, and that worked. <laughs> Kind of clip through it, but it worked. Then jump on top of the elevator, ride it all the way down, and there's a button. Hit that, and this will send you all the way up to an area above the elevator. There's the dead drop. And that's how you get it. And there you go. That is all of the crew challenges in the Meridian Outskirts. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.
you toppled into a toad. 